today I'm going to try to go a little more in depth with the mastery of self um, versus what I did with the four agreements. So here we go. Explanation of key terms. Ally. The voice of your internal narrator when it inspires you to live, create, and love unconditionally. The ally can also offer, offer constructive self-talk. Attachment. The action of taking something that is not a part of you and making it a part of you through an emotional or energetic investment. You can attach to external objects, beliefs, ideas, and even roles you play in the world. Authentic Self The divine inside of you, the force that gives life to your mind and your body, it's similar to the concept of the spirit or the soul that is present in many religious traditions but it's not exactly the same. Awareness. The practice of paying attention in the present moment to what is happening inside your body and your mind as well as in your immediate surroundings. Domestication. The primary system of control in the dream of the planet Starting when we are very young, we are pres presented with either a reward or a punishment for adopting the beliefs and behaviors of what others find acceptable. When we adopt these beliefs and behaviors as a result of either the reward or the punishment, we can say we have been domesticated. Dream of the planet. The combination of every single being in the world's personal dream or the world we live in. Narrators. The voices in your mind that speak to you throughout the day, which can be either positive, the ally, or negative, the parasite. Parasite. The voice of the narrator when it uses your beliefs formed through domestication and attachment to hold power over you by placing conditions on yourself, love, and self-acceptance. This negative voice causes sadness, anxiety, and fear. Personal Dream the unique reality created by every individual, your personal perspective. It is the manifestation of the relationship between your mind and your body. Now, my two key discussions are about the parasite and the ally, which we all can relate to the ally that helps with constructive self-talk inspires you to live, create, and love unconditionally. So when your mind is in the right place, when you're happy and you feel joy and love and you want to create and give and do your best be your best self. The narrator in your mind is your ally. The parasite, the voice of the narrator, when it uses your beliefs to hold power over you by placing conditions on your self-love and self-acceptance. The parasite that causes anxiety, depression, fear, and sadness 
loneliness. Your inner parasite makes you feel overwhelmed and alone. And I know there's so many people out here that can relate. It's a tug of war between the two, the ally and the parasite. So when you're feeling down and you're depressed and you're in the depths of darkness, know that it is this parasite that is pulling you, tugging you, trying to move you deeper into the darkness. But you can stop that, you can change that, you can switch that around. So where this parasite comes into play is in attachment where it takes something that is a part of you and it manipulates it through your emotion and through the energetic investments you have in it, which can attach through objects, beliefs, ideas, and the roles we play in this world. And if you think about an attachment, it can be your feelings towards someone else, a reaction that you've had responding to a trigger. Um, it causes an overwhelming of emotion. So say you woke up feeling great and something unfortunate happened and it caused your emotions to be persuade and so that you start to have a bad day instead of a good day and you let it affect your entire day sometimes your entire week sometimes entire months that is how it gets attached to you and when that happens, you have to realize who your authentic self is. The divine inside of you. The force that gives you life. That makes you whole. So, to bring yourself back to your authentic self, you need to find awareness. And paying attention to the present moment. And realizing what is truly happening outside and inside of your body and what helps with this is meditation to sit down in the moment and quiet your mind relax your body take deep breaths in and out and look around you feel the energy around you and see what is going on is truly okay. Find things to be grateful for. And sometimes this isn't easy, but the longer you set in awareness, with awareness, you can find gratitude in many things. And you can turn this parasite around into the ally and you can have constructive self-talk and lift yourself up and out of the darkness this is where hope comes into play your personal dream the manifestation of the relationship between your mind and your body where you can manipulate your mind and your body into being happy and hopeful and joyous and loving even through the hardest times of your life. And you can share your dream, this hope, with the planet, with those around you. And our dreams can become one and spread together and this joy will continue to spread through people by teaching yourself you can learn to teach and help others 
I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you enjoyed listening today. I appreciate your time until we meet again. Have a wonderful day.